Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tom Slees Jones Show, coming to you live from Thornton, Colorado. <sighs> Got a new cameraman out there, camera person, I'm sorry. Women liver, right? <laughs> I want your number, babe. All right, today we've got a guest, uh, their local band. Uh, he's, a, he's the lead singer. He's uh, evidently pretty good. I haven't seen caught his act yet. I don't get into that country bop music. I doubt I'll see his show, but hey, let's hear what he has to say. Uh, apparently his wife might be with him or his mistress. Whoever comes with him, who cares? But we're here to ask him questions about sleaze. That's my name, Tom Sleaze Jones. And in a minute, you'll be seeing James Nass and James Keith Band. We'll be back in about, I don't know, how long it ever takes you to squeeze the chicken and get back to your set. All right. Welcome, my next guest, James Nass and James Keith Band. Come on in, Jamie. That's, uh, you don't mind me calling you Jamie, do you? That's what everybody else calls me, man. All right. So I hear uh, your band is playing out at a well. Uh, is, it, is it a nice place uh, over out, out in Elizabeth, Colorado? Yeah, it's a little country bar that uh, kind of discovered us. I guess we've been around for about a year and a half, but we got out there and uh, they really liked us. They're running radio ads and stuff on us, and we're and we're trying to break away to get back into Denver. But uh, they're saying that they that they discovered us, so they want us in there. We're there about every two weeks, every Saturday. Two weeks every Saturday. I see you're holding the, the owner of the five. place. Is hey, really wait, wait, cool. excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. You're holding a 45 there. Uh, apparently, you want us maybe to play a sound, a little set of your. Oh no, no. I I just uh, kind of thought maybe I could push my 45 a little bit. I don't I don't want you to hear it or anything. We don't have a turntable. It's kind of a cheap <laughs> talk show. Yeah, it is cheap. We don't have really the money that you know some people have. But anyway, um, <laughs> like I like to. That's that's my record, man. <laughs> but anyway, no, like we were saying, those. yeah, I'm sure you got plenty of them. But anyway, uh. Let's get back to, from what I hear, I understand. Whoa, who's, okay. That's my producer. They didn't want to hear it either. Uh, <laughs> we understand. The reason why we have you on your show is we understand that you have a mistress and a wife, and you have one kid and one kid on the way. Is that true? Let's see. It's uh, false, true, true, and false. So you don't have a wife, you have a mistress, and you don't have a kid, but you have one on the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh -uh. I don't have a mistress, I have a wife and I have a child, but I don't have one on the way. I've got my first child, we just had her about a month ago, her name's Danielle and she's a doll. And then I married my wife, Teddy, she's she's fantastic, she's out there in the audience and uh, she follows me everywhere I go, she gives me a lot of support. You got her on a leash? No, 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 I, I, I don't have to do that with her, she's so well, fantastic. Well, what I'd like you to see here is we're going to put on the TV monitor an interview I had with your wife prior to you being on the show. I didn't like, know anything about that. Well, we did this as a surprise. We wanted to let you see it and everything else. So, if you would bear with us a moment, we'll get it right up on the on this monitor for you and let you see what you have to say. Over there, the monitor. Oh, there. Over on the monitor, over there. That'd okay. be all right. All right. Come back in just a moment. We'll have uh, James Nath's wife on the air. It's uh, pre-taped. JV needs it, and we'll let him answer the questions that we brought her. Be back in a moment. All right. Teddy, this is a kind of an exclusive deal we're doing here. Um, can I call you Teddy or do you want me to call you Theodora? No, Teddy's fine. All right. We're going to have your husband on the air tonight. We've uncovered several things. Uh, I've, I've scoured the streets to uncover this stuff. Um, what about the mob? I know the mob the is mob. involved. Um, well, I've got my own personal opinions on those. And, like, once again, I'm, I'm not going to cut any strings for... I'm through dancing on them, so... But you're not denying that there, the mob is involved. I plead the fifth. Then, all right, then I take that as yes. Uh, I'm also looking for um, any tie-ins with Jamie and uh, any of the Colombian drug cartel as far as uh, is he... I mean, that type thing is just uh, is his, blown his, out of proportion. There's nothing I there. Believe, I believe that... Uh, There's a lot of rumors. Any drug use that he has is strictly individual. I don't... I don't believe that anything he's doing is on a, a higher level. I feel that, you know, that's something, I mean, you can keep a lot of things from your wife. If there is any drug abuse, it's it's on more of a personal level than a financial. All right. I understand. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and end this interview and let you get back 
home or wherever it is you go. Uh, take my Chester? Take it. All right. Well? Drug use? No, I don't. I drink beer every now and then. That's about it. If there is no drug involved. No. Well, we do have um, Giamatti. You know who? You know who? Dallas Giamatti is? No, no food, no tie-in. Mm -hmm. um, the owner of the, of the club? Uh, to my understanding, uh, the owner of the club is a Betsy White. A Betsy White? Right. Okay. They don't call I'm me sure. the sleeves for nothing. They I'm don't sure. call me sleeves for nothing. I want you to remember that. I'm not uh, here to embarrass I'm, you. I'm not going to run from this show. You'll, you'll, I mean, this is totally ridiculous, but I'll gladly sit here and sit here state and the case. The facts will prove themselves out. Cut to a commercial and we'll be right back. And uh, Like I said, we have a surprise for you. Sleeves TV has found the mistress of James Nass, and she is on her way out right now. Would you please come in here? It's not a big trip. Hi. Hi. Why don't you have my seat there? Thank you. Here. You look like you're about ready to burst there, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. There you go. Thanks. So. Hi. Hi. My name is Ness. Nice to meet you. So, uh, with that look you just gave us, you look like that kind of irritated you, did it? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. When I did you meet like him? you're a little hurt. When did you meet him? Oh, we met. Gosh, it's been a while. At least a year ago or so, out in Elizabeth, the band was playing out there. I don't there. even know who you are. No, he's, been not. Denying this. This. he's been denying this. He's been denying this the whole entire time. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. After all we've been through together. You've been through something, hon, obviously, but not anything with me. Uh, that is just that just makes me totally sick. Uh, what what made you fall in love with this man? Evidently, I mean, he's his. Uh, you ought to be called James Lee's. Uh, <laughs> Buddy, I don't know where you're coming from here. I don't know who this lady is. You'll get your but I can tell you, this, man, this show chill. is scary. This guy hey. is just totally freaking crazy. I know, and I know. Go ahead. Tell me what, what happened. I went out to Elizabeth. Went out with a girlfriend. We were going to see this really great band. We went out there, had a few beers. He sang this song. He gave me a mountain. Just took my heart away. He gave you a mountain? <laughs> Well, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. got a mound there. Okay, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Well. And then from there. I mean, I was just. Honey, I don't know who's I paying you, but I hope they're paying you a lot of money because I'm going to sue your ass and I'm going to sue your ass. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is a joke. Why are this you? is a joke. What? Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad oh, at you. Oh, I'm saying. I didn't. All I did was get the facts here, people. I just. <laughs> Wanted to get We've you guys shared on the here. best year of my life here, and he's sitting here on national television denying it. Well, it's you gotta realize it's the money in the band. I mean, he brought his record on the show. Speaking of which, I know. I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, you got. He got me on here under false pretenses. I want the American public to know that Tom. This is his child, Tom people. Is is exactly what his name says. This is a sleaze show. This is ridiculous, and. This is the only sleaze I know of. I don't have any idea who you are. I think I know who you are, although you're probably somebody else too, for all I know. <laughs> I love it. This is my show. This is the sleaze hour. This I love it. This is a joke. So what else happened? I mean, I what did my wife say? Did she... Well, like say, what could she say? I mean, she was very upset about the whole situation. I'm sure they, they discussed it in privacy and everything, but... I'm not going to sit here. I mean, this. I'm here. This is a yeah, part of life. Yourself, He's going to have, have to deal with myself. it. That's all there is to it. Further. I mean, come on. I've been through sheer hell here. Yeah, I can see. And there's a wife here to consider. And another daughter. Another daughter. I mean, another give me daughter. a break. Another daughter. I have another enough daughter. problems of my own not to be dealing with this, too, on top of it. And well, then he acts like a total jerk. Yeah, I understand. I tell you what, we'll go to commercial and uh, we'll... Try and get to the bottom of this. Hell, you're a sleaze bag. <laughs> you are. <laughs> what a sleaze bag. You're, you uh, are we'll a sleaze right bag. Right we'll be right out of battle. Uh, from where all the evidence points to you that you're a sleaze bag, and I have proved myself. No, I'll tell you what, my friend. Uh, yeah. uh, you, uh, you said that I didn't have any proof. Well, I'll show you. I brought proof with me, and I hope the yeah, camera can get a good shot of this. This is a wedding picture of Tom Sleaze Jones and this young lady right here. 
and uh, it must be fairly recent because they haven't changed much except for the way, uh, except for the little bun in the basket there. Right here, if you can get a shot of that. I knew this, this is would a wedding work. picture. I knew it. And uh, so, Mr. Tom Slees Jones, I'm glad I busted your nose, and if, and if you're lucky, I won't bust your head wide open. Oh, this is ridiculous. man, it's Slees TV, pal. Get over it, you know what I'm saying? I knew this wouldn't work. Shut up. <laughs> it's Slees TV, it's all part of the gimmick. You, you guys nauseate me, but at least I expose them to the people that they are. Tom Slees Jones is a Slees TV show. Yeah. Shut up, just shut up! Get off our show! Your wife put another one in the oven, too, pal. <laughs> well, <laughs> shut your mouth over there. <laughs> well, you saw what Slee's TV is all about. He gave me a little pop in the nose, a little shot in the mouth, but I'll be all right. Tune in next week when we've got Governor Roy Romer, and what we've got is Jamie's face dubbed in, and uh, it's going to make it look like Roy Romer's in with the mob. Tune in next week on Tom Slee's TV. <laughs>